Hello everyone, my name is Brennan Snyder and welcome back. With the sad passing of Neil Peart, Rush's drummer for over 45 years, I thought we'd take a look back at uh, some of their releases and in particular today we're going to take a look at their R30 release which was a 30th anniversary concert that they were doing. And this one here is a deluxe edition of it and we'll take a full look at that in just a moment. But when this came out in 2005, it was only two short years after they had released the Rush and Rio um, release from 2003. And this one here is a three disc set. And so in order to not overlap, they actually cut eight tracks from the full show that was the R30 show, if you had gone and seen it. And those appeared on later DVD releases and things. But in 2009, there was a Blu-ray release of the R30 show that reincorporated those missing eight tracks. So if you're looking for the full show, get the Blu-ray. But this one here is the DVD and it came out in 2005. This show was uh, filmed in Frankfurt, Germany. It's a full show. Um, you know, minus the eight tracks, but I mean a full show in, as in what they intended it to be, so it's not individual from all over the place. And this uh, just slides out like other uh, DVD uh, releases from the slipcase. And as we open it, start to see things like this came with a uh, bonus uh, two CDs that were in it, as well as these guitar picks that are here and a booklet that's behind that. We'll take a look at that in just a moment. There's the back side of it. Slide this out of the way. The CD, I always appreciate getting the CDs. It doesn't take much for a band to transfer the video to make it audio. There's the track listing there and the back side of it. And the disc gets a two disc and it just slides out like that. But I like audio and I always appreciate that uh, for them to include that since it was never released standardly. It's only ever been available in this set. And then there's two guitar picks, one for Alex Lifeson and one for Getty Lee. And they both are two-sided. Got the R30 logo, and this does match what they were using in the concerts. Um, so I like that when it's not just created for this, but it's actually the touring guitar pick that they use. And then there was a booklet that came with it. And this also had in it a backstage pass. So another little piece of memorabilia included with it uh, the back is uh, that kind of cracked paper that it, you can peel it off, and so uh, it is sticky. Uh, real backstage in that regards, obviously you can't use it because the tour is over, but you get that. So the booklet itself uh, is pretty typical. On the front part of this, it's got a bunch of information about where the show was uh, filmed and recorded and the crew and all that kind of stuff. But then you start getting into some really cool pictures from over the years following the full 30 years of the band and stuff like that. Um, it's a really great one. And uh, on one more, I'm sure. There's this really cool one, followed by some others. And then when we get to the end, there's this uh, cool triple page fold out on it, finishing everything off. And there you go. And that's the booklet uh, to this. So let's talk about uh, the music um, and the hidden stuff or the, the stuff that's uh, on the bonus disc that's on here. And so on DVD one has the uh, full R30 uh, performance on it. And it kicks off with an R30 overture. It's got Finding My Way, Anthem, A Still Day, A Passage to Bangkok, Cygnus, and Hemispheres. Then that next it begins with the full songs and we've got the Spirit of Radio, Force 10, Animate, Subdivisions, Earthshine, followed by Red Beretta, Roll the Bones, The Seeker, Tom Sawyer, Dreamline, Between the Wheels, Mystic Rhythms, and then the next track on here, uh, Der Trommler. I always have a hard time pronouncing that one, but uh, there it is. Uh, Resist, Heart Full of Soul, 2112, Xanadu with Working Man, it's a medley, Summertime Blues, Crossroads, and then the classic Limelight closes the show. This too is really cool. It's got a got bunch of uh, bonus stuff on here. It's got a whole series of interviews from 79 up to 2002. and includes things like uh, 1981 uh, in Lay Studios where they recorded um, the uh, Moving Pictures album, and then 1990, the Artist of the Decade interviews, and the 1994 Juno Hall of Fame induction. And that's the equivalent of the Grammy Awards, the Juno Awards. Uh, so that's pretty cool for them. 
Um, and then 2002 Vapor Trails tour interview. And then there's a section on here called the Anthem Vault, and it's got a whole bunch of other live recordings of tracks and stuff from over the years. It's got Fly By Night, Finding My Way, which is from uh, the MPEG-1 rock concert, and In The Mood, the same thing. Uh, Circumstances, uh, La Villa Strangiato is on here, Farewell to Kings, Xanadu, The Spirit of Radio, which is a sound check performance from 79, and Free Will which is from Toronto Rocks in 2003, and then Closer to the Heart, which is Canada for Asia in 2005. And then as I said, there's a whole bunch of hidden stuff on here, uh, what they call Easter eggs. If you do a bunch of uh, uh, different commands with your remote and uh, click in different places that you wouldn't normally click, uh, you do find a bunch of cool little Easter egg things, and there's uh, information on that if you Google that on, on the internet. But there you go, there's the R30 release. Uh, nice little package with bonus material and the audio content, uh, making it a very cool thing, uh, even if you do have that, choose to get the Blu-ray that has the full performance on it, which I also have and is really great. All right, I hope this was uh, informative and everyone enjoyed it. And if you did, please remember to comment, like, and subscribe. Let me know your thoughts, and I hope everyone has a great day, and I'll talk to you all real soon. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.